Hello everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Let me introduce myself. My name is Vikas and I have 17 years experience into IT infrastructure, mainly on Microsoft servers, Active Directory, Azure infrastructure and Azure security, including Office 365 and Office 365 security. I done my first exam in year 2005 or 6, which is Windows XP. And from that time onwards, I'm working on the Microsoft skills. So now uh, we done MCSC 2003, 2008, MCITP and so on. So from that, uh, those, those days onwards, Microsoft stopped releasing uh, a Microsoft uh, server certification. So good news for those guys who are interested on Windows Server certification. So Microsoft released a new track that is called AZ800 and AZ801. So let me give you some brief information about this exam. AZ800 administering Windows Server hybrid core infrastructure. So this is a exam, especially for those guys who are interested in on-premises plus Azure hybrid uh, kind of uh, skills and more focus on server side as well. So the good news is this exam is available in December 2021. It means hardly a few weeks left out for this exam. So candidate for this exam is, is for those people who are working on Windows Server technologies, including on-premises, hybrid, including Azure. And the professionals should have expertise on on-premises on as well as networking on Azure. So this is a wonderful exam, whoever interested for a server certification. And right now it's in beta form. And same way, the next level of exam they introduced called AZ801, which is a Windows Server Hybrid Advanced Services exam. Let me give you the brief uh, details. So first is 800. So the the first portion, 30 to 35 percent, is talking about on-premises Active Directory domain services, including FSMO role, on-premises domain controllers, replication, FSMO master, replication troubleshooting, and group managed service accounts. So typically, old days we manage Active Directory. So same concept they are asking uh, in this particular exam. Further, how you integrate on-premises AD with uh, Azure, including Azure AD Connect, and their deployment scenarios, including um, password hashing, password authentication, and ADFS single sign-on services. What is Azure AD Connect Health? Then group policies, and that's called, it covers 35% of the exam coverage, and then 15% is your managing Windows servers in a hybrid like PowerShell remoting Windows Admin Center, what we have in 2019 and 2020 servers. Group policy, guest configuration, and how we integrate log analytics monitoring service, how we integrate security center with on-premises with Azure. That's called the hybrid managing virtual machines, including uh, Hyper-V's, checkpoints, VHDs, NIC teaming, Container, a few topics are there. Then how we manage the disk, manage Azure VMs on Windows servers in a hybrid. Then DNS, then DNS security. DNS topics are there, which covers up to 15 to 20%, including IPAM, DSCP, high availability of a DSCP. Then storage services includes Azure File Sync, which is a cloud-based services, uh, which integrate on-premises file file server with Azure. Sync groups, DFS configuration, yes, and quotas, SMB, deduplication feature of storage. So these are the most probably important topics which they are going to ask during this exam. Let me start with 801. So 801 is typically advanced topic, especially the first 25% or 30% is your Defenders, Defender for Endpoint, Credential Guards, Group Policy, Security Policies, How to do Hardening a Domain Controller, Silos, and uh, Delegation. Then how we monitoring through a Sentinel service, which is in Azure, through Azure Security Center, Domain Isolations. Then BitLocker, BitLocker Encryption, how to do disk encryption of Azure VM which is typically part of AZ500 exam. So they put in that topic in this particular exam as well. High availability, 
clustering. How to do failover clustering in on-premises, especially integrating with, with Azure, and how to upgrade a cluster from old cluster to 2022, and storage, space, direct, disaster recovery, how to do the Azure recovery service vault, backup vaults, VM snapshots, then site recovery, a Hyper-V replicas option, what we have in on-premises Hyper-V servers, then storage, how to integrate storage from on-premises storage to Azure. And then how to migrate Azure migration. Azure migrate tool is talking in this particular topic. So how to migrate, it includes Hyper-V to Azure, on-premises Hyper-V server to Azure, and then uh, physical servers to Azure and VMware server to Azure. All these three scenarios they're talking in this module. Then other core services like migration to IES from on-premises to, to Azure, along with on-premises old version to the tw server 2022 and migrate Active Directory to 2022. Then monitoring services, boot, boot failures, boot encryption, boot uh, failures and uh, disk encryption issues, troubleshooting AD, AD recovery, recycle bin, FSRM mode, hybrid authentication troubleshooting through Azure AD Connect. So these are the core advanced topic they are going to cover, talk about in A01. So in my opinion, this is these are the two wonderful exam which we are waiting for uh, to release. And most probably uh, as soon as it's released, it's very much in demand. So stay tuned and we'll come up more details about these exams soon. Thank you very much for watching this.